What is up guys, I'm Rick, always raiding Cacus, and today we are going to be showcasing all of the different locations for all of the different collectibles located within the brand new Vault of Glass raid added to Destiny 2 during Season of the Splicer. If you do collect all of these collectibles, you will unlock the Pearl of Glass Triumph, which gets you access to the exclusive Bitter Pearl Shader. This is an homage to the original Chatter White Shader back in Destiny 1. And so, let's get started. And first things first, these collectibles are all throughout the raid. So you will need to beat all of the encounters up to the Gatekeeper encounter to unlock all of them. If you want to know how to beat the entirety of the Vault of Glass raid, as well as secret chest locations, loadout suggestions, and more, I've done my complete Vault of Glass raid guide for dummies that is linked up above. Definitely check that out. But let's get started with these collectible locations. The first two are located in the spawn area on Venus here, where you have to capture the three different Vex plates. So firstly, peel off in your sparrow to the right hand side, and the first one is located behind a tree right here. After you collect that, head all the way back to the left hand side this time, underneath kind of the leftmost uh, portal, and you're gonna find a cave, head through here, and you can find the other collectible. After that, you're gonna have to complete this encounter, which opens the main kind of vex gate and lets you in the vault of glass. And not too long after heading in here, you're going to see a big chasm, but to your left, there's a little cave and another collectible in there. Now, from here, if you jump off the ledge, there's a little secret passageway that leads to a secret chest, or you can just head to the left. There's actually a shard in both different directions. So head to the left first, because you're actually able to double back. And as you can see right here, the next shard is located kind of on the side of these big Vex blocks down here. Now, once you've collected that one, you can simply double back. It is going to be quite a lot of jumping to get back, but you can do it. And then once you make your way to that original area where you could have jumped off the ledge, you're going to jump off the ledge, turn around, and as you can see, there's kind of a secret passageway, secret doorway right here. Head through there and make your way towards the secret chest. Once you collect the secret chest, look up and to the left, and you can see one glowing right up near the canopy of this tree. And after you collect this one, you simply make your way to the next arena where the three next encounters are going to take place. And so once you've beaten Confluxes, Oracles, and the Templar, then the next doorway is going to open up, but you don't want to head through here. Instead, you want to go around to the left, and as you can see, there's a secret tunnel. Now, the first collectible is right up here as soon as you enter the entrance to this tunnel, as you can see. And then the next collectible, you will have to go through the tunnel quite a ways, and it's actually going to be located exactly where the Templar chest in Destiny 1 was located. So you head down this kind of secret passageway for quite a while, then you're going to see a small opening uh, in the cave side. As you can see right here, when you head in there, there's a little bit of a Vex a spherical structure, and it's located inside there, as you can see. Now, after you acquire that one, as you continue forward, you will make your way to the Gorgon's Maze, and there's a couple located here. The first one is pretty easy to get to. You're probably gonna wipe doing it, but no big deal. Simply head off to the right, and it's just up on this ledge right here. Now, the next one isn't so easy to get to. You're gonna have to follow the normal route that I would recommend to anyone actually trying to beat the Gorgon's Maze, which is sneak through down and to the left, head up on top of this first rock, and then the height makes it so that the Gorgons can't really see you. Then you jump over to this other ledge, and from this ledge you jump over to this other kind of high structure, again, to avoid the Gorgons. And now from here, normally you would simply head forward to the tunnel entrance and complete this encounter, 
but instead you're gonna head down to the left as you can see and then you have a shard that's hidden next to a pillar right here. All right, now once you do eventually beat the Gorgon's Maze and you've gone through the exit, there's gonna be the final two in the kind of large open area before you get to the Gatekeeper's Encounter. So the first one is located when you first kind of come out and see this massive open area, head to your left. So don't jump across this chasm. If you do that, you're going to see a kind of small cave, as you can see right here, head through this cave system, drop all the way down to this ledge, and then there's another hidden cave to which you can find this shard. Now, from here, you can try to make it, you know, all the way through the chasm. If you have like Thunder Crash, maybe you can make it, or you can simply respawn back at the top and then head down, you know, properly to the other side of the chasm, as you can see. Once you get to the ledge on the other side of the chasm and you're making your way forward, you're going to see a side passage that's kind of lit up, as you can see. Head down here, turn to the right, and you can see one shoved in the corner. And did I say there was two more? Well, I lied. There's actually one more after you grab the secret chest that's located right here. Then you're going to head towards the entranceway to the final arena where the Gatekeeper encounter and Atheon encounter take place. But before you go through these doors, simply jump up and to the left, as you can see, there's one wedged in a corner right here. And once you grab this one, if you've grabbed all the other ones I showed, then you will have the Triumph complete. So simply go into your Triumph screen, click on it, and then you will get the brand new Bitter Pearl shader. And from there, of course, the last thing to do is to head to your appearance screen utilizing that brand new user interface that we got just this season and try out the new Bitter Pearl shader with a bunch of your different looks and styles. I don't know about you guys, but simply the fact that shaders are finally universal and infinite use makes them a lot more valuable and I'm really excited to have kind of an exclusive and an elusive one now in the mix only available to raiders. Not to mention, it's nice to finally have a new shader that's available through a method that isn't Eververse for once. And so guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content, so much of this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickKakis, that's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.